Hi everybody, today's video is about dealing with anxiety. I've got a strategy to share with you that is super effective uh, in a couple of different situations and so I wanna sh throw out the qualifiers to begin with, okay? So one of the qualifiers is, this is a great strategy for dealing with anxiety that is that's a around being overwhelmed by tasks, being overwhelmed by responsibilities, uh, maybe worried that all this stuff, um, things are not gonna turn out well. When you're dealing with anxiety about those kinds of things, this is really helpful. Social anxiety, it might not be as effective for, okay? So that's one of the qualifiers. The second qualifier is that it's it's dependent on, it's sort of built around our our faith, um, the spiritual beliefs we have. Do, do you believe that God cares for you and that God will help you if you have that that awareness that belief this is can be very effective and in fact it really pushes us on that question and I'm aware that some of the people who read my stuff and and watch these videos uh, may not be in that place but uh, check this out and see if you if this might be helpful for you if it might actually um, surface some of those spiritual questions for you okay and then the final qualifier is and I'm not exactly sure how to say this other than like, do you really want to get over or deal with this anxiety? Uh, are you willing to take action, to take steps? Maybe another way of saying that would be, uh, some people, when I share a, a strategy like this, their response might be, well, I, I, that just seems, I don't know, I don't, I don't know that I really want to do that. Um, it's like we kind of have these ideas about what should work or what could work. Um, and maybe if something seems too simple, we might be offended and think, well, I, I'm looking for something uh, more sophisticated than that. This is not sophisticated, but let me tell you, it does work. And, uh, and here's how it's, it's, uh, it's played out for me. I've done it in my own life and it's been very effective when I do it. Um, and I've shared this with a lot of people. And a lot of people, let me put it this way, the people who've done it uh, will come back and say that it's been really helpful. And then there's been quite a number of people who I share it with them and they don't do it. They don't put it into practice. I have never yet heard of someone who does it and found it to be not helpful. So if you try this and it's not helpful, please let me know. I'd love to hear your story because um, the reality is I think it works every time. And the issue is, are we willing to actually try it? Are we willing to actually do it? You ready? So here's what you do. Step one, what is happening, what's spinning around in your mind, these things that you've got going on, these things you're worried about, make a list. You write them down. And once again, here right away, um, we get to the point of differentiation between people who are just sort of comfortable with anxiety and don't feel like taking the time and taking the effort to actually make a list like this. But this is essential. Get it out of your head. Write it on paper. Write a list. Keep that list up to date. It's the kind of thing you will go back to periodically. Keep that list. Get it out of your head onto paper, if it's not on paper, if it's spinning around in your head, your brain's job is to prevent you from for forgetting stuff or to, or to, to keep you safe and therefore to, um, to prevent you from forgetting about something that matters. So if there's something that matters to you and you're not writing it down, you don't have it kind of in an objective space, it's just here in your head, your brain is going to keep bringing it up and bringing it up and reminding you and causing you to worry. So get it out of your head, get it on paper, make the list, okay? Then the second step is to take a different piece of paper then, either first thing in the morning, if you do this kind of thing in the morning, or maybe some of you do a kind of a thinking ahead about the, the next day you do this at night. So whether it be at night, about the following day, or that day in the morning, you take another piece of paper and draw a line down the center. So you make two columns. In the first column, you looking at that list of the things you've got to do, the responsibilities, the things you're worried about, 
you write down the the handful it's going to be a small group uh the things that you can do today to deal with that issue to um to move forward to uh you know what are your task responsibilities what can you do about that thing to fix it uh to move forward with the challenge whatever what are the things that you can do today and it's like i said it's going to be a small list uh, of the things we have time for the uh, capacity for on any given 24-hour period of time all right so you write that list and on the top of that list i'm gonna think there's maybe you know several things certainly no more than 10 things that you can do today on the top of that list you write my tasks or my work today now on the other list this is the the next step on the other uh column you write down everything else so all the other stuff that you had listed there the things that you can't get to today um, and maybe there's other things that you would think of that you're worried about stressed about you can't do anything about today you write those in the other list and that's going to be a long the long list you don't necessarily have to write every single thing from the master list on there but the things that um that would are jumping out at you from that list that you're worried about stressed about whatever you write them on the right hand column and at the top of that column you write god's job today okay so what you have is a list of a small group of things that is your job that day and then the other side of the paper you have the list of god's jobs that day and so then throughout the day you do whatever you can to focus on your job and don't worry about the other one and here's the a way to think about this other list so sometimes i've been a part of um in a, in a work situation where i have a boss that i'm working with or maybe it's a team of people that i'm working with and we have something going on and so we get together for a meeting and in the course of that meeting we have uh the awareness of these things need to happen and so we have this list and i write down then or each of us you know in the in the um meeting we write down what we need to do sort of my takeaways my to do's from the meeting and then um the other person other people in the group they write down what their to do's are for the meeting and that's super freeing because i go away from that meeting and i can focus on what i need to do and those other things those people are responsible for and uh then we'll get together later on um and we'll kind of share our notes and we might redraw responsibilities and that's exactly what we do as we go through our lives as we go day to day in our relationship with a god who cares for us a god who's helping us a god who's guiding us see the reality is we have very limited amount of time and energy uh and an available bandwidth that we can employ to to deal with whatever responsibilities we have whatever challenges we're facing and so uh this two list approach uh is is really about helping us stay focused on what we can do something about that day and then everything else we can't do anything about it anyway and that's in god's hands that's what we leave over we turn over and we leave in the care of god now we're going to have a meeting again with our boss maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day but ideally this is something we would do each day and we'll do the same thing so the next day we look at that list of all the things that are going on and then we'll write down uh, what we can do what we are responsible to do in the next 24 hours this day are the things that i can do and then 
again in the right hand column we'll write down everything else we'll write down god's jobs for that day the things that are in god's realm of responsibility or area of responsibility now uh again this does not rocket science and um, I'm not exactly sure why it's helpful to actually write this out we these are things that we sort of know intellectually and um, are taught to believe that you know we're responsible to do certain things and then God's gonna take care of us and and take care of things and and do work even when we are not able to serendipitous things will happen come together where God is uh, helping us and bringing you know good things into our lives that we didn't even think up ourselves we, we, we believe that's happening but this is a way of specifically tying it to the particular things that we are carrying that we don't need to be carrying so try that today tomorrow um, and try that for a few days and see what happens. I promise you, if you do it, <laughs> it will not help you at all. You're gonna think this won't work unless you actually try it and then find out that it does work. So do that and let me know what you think. Thanks.